So, as some people might be aware, this year's Biochemical Society Science Communication Competition is now open. So, um, we thought it'd be great to just do a video about some of the questions that we often get asked and just to talk about science communication in general, because we both have backgrounds in science communication. So, I received a grant from the Wellcome Trust to do one of the science communication programs at Imperial College, and when I finished it, um, I uh, got the job at the Biochemical Society, where I'm the Education and Public Engagement Manager. So, I went down a more traditional route. I did a um, BSc in Biological Sciences at Leicester and then I went and did an MSc um, in Bristol at, in Science Communication. So then I got a job at the Biochemical Society so I work as part of the marketing and communications team and um, I'm able to actually use all the skills I got in my masters in my everyday working life which is really cool. Experience, 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 because uh, one of the things you really do need when you get into the industry is being able to show that you've done uh, work in science communication in the past, that you have experience in science communication or public engagement. So having your name out there and having your written piece online, um, published online, which is one of the, the, the prizes that we give away for this competition, so publication in the Biochemist, both the hard copy and the, the website, aside from the cash prize, and yeah, being able to, to show that you can write and you can engage the public with science. Yeah. I think this is just such a great platform to get your name out there and um, it's a great way to you get a mentoring session so you get to meet someone in the area and in science communication networking is definitely key so if you're able to network that's fantastic like the world of science communication is very small I don't know if you yeah. found that. No, you can. I mean, you can just use your phone. Uh, what is important is that the science is, is sound, and that you do show your enthusiasm, and you are able to transmit the science for how amazing and improbable uh, and wondrous it is. I think that's the most important bit. We say yes. I think it's great to bounce ideas off different people, work as a team, collaborate. I think that's really important as a science communicator. So we definitely encourage that. We say no, just from anywhere around the world, we'd love to see your entries. We really want some diverse entries into this competition. Yes. So I think that's really important. So it will close on the 15th of April this year, 2019, and the results will come out mid to end of May. Yeah, and if you follow us on Twitter, you'll be able to see the um, winners announced there as well.